look right there, that's a giraffe. You see how long his neck is? So he can eat the top of the trees. Where do you want to go now? You know, they eat up to 65 pounds of twigs and leaves a day. Don't you think that's a lot? Don't you think they get thirsty and they gotta bend that long neck down and the lake and drink some water? Special, huh? Beautiful. Happy. You know, it really helps me to know that she's gonna live. It was like deja vu watching you with her. Reading to her. That's the book you used to read to Michael when he was a baby. Well, yeah, it's one of them. I kept them. She was mesmerized. Um... I guess you missed the part where she tried to rip the book out of my hands. <laughs> no, you were talking to her about giraffes. She loves giraffes. She sleeps with one every night. I should bring her stuffed animal here. Do me a favor. Don't stop reading to her. I want you to be as close to Jocelyn as you are with Michael. she's going to be like when she's Michael's age. She's going to be perfect. Just like Michael. She's having so many hopes and dreams when... when a child is born. He's great with Jocelyn. Jack's freaked out, but uh, I'll have to try and figure that one. Yeah, it's only temporary. I'm going to start looking for Franco. We talked about this. You're not in any shape to go after Franco. Yeah, well, Franco's not going away, Carly. Okay, fine. He's not going away. So you have time. You have to grieve, Jason, or you're never going to get past this. Dr. Henry, call 3827. Take the time you need. Luke, 